guys welcome back to another video if you guys have just clicked on this video make sure you stay make sure you subscribe and join my journey but if you guys are returning viewer then welcome back then we rise through it all till we find what we want then we lose it all again your touch on my skin pull me close take me in just me just you Finally, I'm going to show you guys what many of you have been asking me, which is, can you please show us the little corner of the room or how you organise baby stuff? And I can't wait to show you guys. Everything has been basically organised. There's not really much to change around. Obviously, there's one or two things um, that maybe, you know, you might not remember or anything like that and you end up getting. But pretty much everything is done. Bear with me, guys. I am 38 weeks pregnant. And I am struggling to sometimes catch my breath, but I'm going to basically show you guys everything and how everything looks. As I said, we live in a one bedroom. Um, we're not planning on moving just, just yet. We have other plans. So hopefully um, we don't change our mind because me and even sometimes change our mind. Um, but for now, this is how it is. He has his own little corner. To be fair, I really think he needs a room. I don't believe a child needs their room straight away because they do spend the first few months with their mum and dad in the room so it doesn't really make any sense but anyways let's get straight into this video and show you guys my baby boy's little bedroom corner let's call it that so as you guys come in basically this is the whole of my bedroom as you guys can see please don't mind shoes and stuff on the floor that's the bag ready to go mine and baby boy's bag but let me show oh let me show you the outfit i'm wearing today guys this is baby baby here say hi papas here <laughs> ready to pop anytime he decides to come and let me just show you guys now the room so basically we have this at first we wanted the cot on this side but it was not that it was too small it just looked really weird so we didn't do that you guys realize all my cushions all my teddies have gone they've gone i've officially said goodbye to them because the room was just getting too much in here but yeah this is his room his room sorry i need to change that his little corner so this let's start with the bed so this is little cot so this cot guys goes up to i think if i'm not mistaken until he's five um it goes super low it's super big there's two different size cots so there's the cot that goes up to when he's two and then a one until he's five this one goes until he's five i will leave on the link link down below um where i got this i actually got the bed the wardrobe and the chest of drawers as a set so it actually comes as a set guys it was way cheaper than buying it separately at first we wanted one of those you know attached sort of like mini cot bed things but we actually didn't get that we got this instead because we were like you know what it just makes more sense we're going to be spending more money for no reason then he's got this little thing that hopefully will let him sleep a bit better um he feel he will feel more like secure and safe because i feel like the cot might be a bit too big for him just when he's first born this little blanket that we put that my mum made so this blue one here my mum made my mother-in-law made this for him we have some cute friends that gave us this little lion for him which i found really cute and this was also given guys to us um at first i didn't really want to put it but i was like i might as well um put it why not um he's also got this lovely projector mobile attachment for his bed it kind of just like turns on it spins and i won't be able to show you now but it projects like some lights on top of the ceiling as well when everything is really dark which is really lovely and some lights on here as well um maybe might help him to get distracted i don't know um and then we've got the camera if you guys want to know where all these stuff are from go and check out my gender rev uh, my gender rev my baby shower gifts video where i show where everything is from everything is linked there so go over and head check it out there then i got this mini shelf up here with like some reading books and also this little star that also turns lights on at night won't bother to turn it now because you won't be able to see because it's quite bright in the room and then got some books this is one of my favorite all-time books and then the back ones are just like simple books i'm planning on getting some more but obviously they're not all gonna fit there so i would just go bit by bit with that and then here he's got his little like so my sister gave me this thing <laughs> so his name is santiago 
But guys, <laughs> the SAN fell off. And I'm still waiting on my beautiful sister to decide to bring me the glue gun so that we can stick it back on, which it really frustrates me to see it like that. But it's okay, his name is not Tiago, it's Santiago. I've got the other part there somewhere. So yeah, but I've decided to just like keep it here and it can have like all his like soft toys and teddies. He's got tons. It was so hard to actually choose one to take to the hospital. He's got like hundreds <laughs> in here, as you can clearly see all given guys and I think even my mother-in-law made him one like by herself which was really cute so that's that and now let's take you to this area so in this area he's got I put another shelf here and then I got his little name thing which I'm not really sure where to put it if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comment section down below and then it's just got like products that I'll be using like just before bed so like bedtime lotions um this brand is actually a Spanish brand that my mother-in-law bring for me from Spain this was a little perfume that they gave him from Zara which smells actually really nice guys um, and then just like some oils, pseudo cream, and then this little cute Coracel thing that my sister gave him, which I find really cute as well. And then his changing area. I know a lot of people are like, this is such a waste because you never change them there, which is fine. Um, however, it already came with like the chest of drawers and I can always remove this part um, after longer down the line. But I just thought that I live in a one bedroom. It's not like I'm moving much or going much places to actually not really use this um i'll probably mainly when i change him in the morning and stuff will probably be here because my house is not that big so i think it's not going to be as a waste but i will let you guys know i actually got this from amazon if i'm not mistaken but i'll link everything down for you guys to see now time to show you guys the organization that me my sister and my lovely niece did so first draw got Socks, tights, all these stuff, bibs, hats, teething stuff, dummies. It's got his only two towels that he has. Um, it's got all his muslins in here as well. Don't really have that many actually, guys. I've got like boring ones for like day to day and then i've got these pretty ones to take when we go out my mother-in-law actually made them i'll pop a picture of how they look they look really good she made them she done all these like boardings and stuff around it which is really lovely we've got wipes nappies cotton buds these are like bath sort of clothy things that i can use with him in the bath and then i've got hair brushes um also got this nail filing thing um which everyone says is amazing um and that's basically the top shelf i um, still need to pop some other stuff in here actually that i haven't popped in there then the next part is so how i divided it was i put everything that's up to a month first because i just feel like i just want to get that like used and out of the way um so this is all like from zero to one month so these are just like pajamas probably what he's going to be potentially wearing most of the time when he's at home with me and then these are obviously the little vests inside and then here's just like plain like t-shirts that i can pop him in with some like trousers or whatever or shorts um because it is he is going to be born in like spring slash summer so yeah that's all that's it there for now and then at the bottom i have everything that's zero to three months and then three months onwards because i do have some like pajamas here that are like um some people bought me like six to nine months already as well got some more extra bibs down here that actually don't fit at the top but they're quite more big bibs so i'll leave them more for when he's quite bigger and then here I just have like shorts and trousers bits and bobs guys look how cute these shorts are. i have to show you guys from primark look how cute that is oh my goodness he is such a lucky boy he's got so much i've also got this little cute um little shorties <laughs> for him to wear as well or zero to three months um for him to wear in the summer and then obviously vests here and then more pajamas and onesies here on this one um, as well for him to wear so that's basically the chest of drawers now let me show you his wardrobe so up there we have like the play mat that we will take out obviously once he's here when he starts to use it there's no point taking it now catching dust and then that's the adapter to the buggy um to use obviously when he gets a bit bigger and stops fitting in the car seat one which is so sad when that happens um and then in here it's all 
baby boy's clothes guys this is just some extra um dividers that i bought from ikea um just in case i needed them but as you guys can see i've got the little um dividers of age so helpful so literally newborn outfits i didn't buy much this is literally all he has like and i didn't even buy any of them these were all given which is insane um and then from here onwards is all zero to three months i think he still has some zero to three months a bit down there as well and then everything else is older as you guys can see so this is three to six and that is um six to nine and onwards i just want to show you some of his clothing guys look how cute that is I just literally could not wait to see him in these little things. And then this one as well is super cute. I just, oh my God. Guys, I'm a very killer for like old, um, I want to say old, but what do you call this sort of style of clothing? Like very traditional Spanish and Portuguese sort of clothing. I love it. I just think it's so adorable. And over here, these sort of clothing are so expensive, but my mother-in-law and even bought them over there. Even also got him this, which I found really cute. Um, but yeah, this is his clothes. He's got some beautiful pieces up here as well. He's got like these sort of one-piece suits that I cannot wait to put on him. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of his clothing that he has. I'm not going to get too carried away because he's got so much up here. But um yeah this one is super cute as well guys look how cute that is ah, i just can't wait to show you guys all my little fashion scents and then i love these rumpers things i find them so cute as well and then this one was one of the ones even chose for him which was super cute a gift but even chose for him someone gave it to us and then i got him also these are the only pair of jeans he actually owns got him these as well um anyways these are all his clothes over here i just put might put a divider there these are all like bed stuff for him to change like beddings and things for his like moses basket which is actually his moses basket is in the sitting room so it's not here this is his sleeping bag and then here he's got just a um, basket with like more blankets in there up here he's got his shoes guys look how cute these shoes are you cannot say that's not cute that is so cute and then up here he's got all his shoes in there in here it's just like toys and stuff and then behind there is like just nappies but bigger aged nappies so for when he's a bit older and then i think that's it and then at the bottom here he's just got like um bags personalized bags that people got him which is super cute for when he like starts going to nursery or when we go out and stuff like that so that's basically his wardrobe so he's very prepared and then here the car i didn't show you guys i've just got this little i don't even i'm just gonna call it an organizer to be fair i bought it but there's not really much in it there's just like nappies for now and wipes and then i've got some creams and stuff there for his like nappy rashes and stuff if he gets any but um maybe after i'll put some bottles and things like that like i don't know how breastfeeding is gonna go and things like that so i'm just leaving that on the open's got some dummies here as well in case he needs it and then we've got his bouncer here we haven't actually put it in the sitting room yet again there's no point so it's just there in that little corner just fits really well um so yeah guys that is basically baby's room corner that he's got hope you guys liked it
that is it that was baby's room corner i really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it if there's anything that i might have forgotten that you guys want to ask where something is from please message me um or leave it in the comment down section or add me on instagram and maybe you can ask me on there um but yeah guys that is his little corner i really hope you guys enjoyed that i really enjoyed showing you guys i really enjoyed preparing it as well it's all been just like amazing to do thank you guys all so much for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys can we rise through it all till we find what we want? Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you.